Well, I decided to use uh, a little bit of your time uh, to make a very quick presentation of um, uh, what I'm doing now. So I'm um, completing a master uh, in, at the Pittsburgh Institute in Rotterdam. Um, this is uh, the address for my wiki. So we also um, have a wiki there. And I thought it could be a good moment to actually um, present some of my ideas so that we can later on, eventually, if we cross in the party or other moments, to, um, it would be lovely to hear some feedback. Um, so what I'm doing now um, is a research on choreographic concepts and scores um, and try to understand how I can use these in uh, web interfaces and web tools. So this started um, already a while ago. And uh, I was um, literally comparing notation systems from the different uh, fields. So on one side I would have performance, dance performance, and on the other side I would have graphic design. And later on I was a bit more specific, so I would only want to look at web design tools and um, dance from the 70s or um, let's say choreographic scores from that age which was a very important uh, moment in dance history in which um, very radical ideas were born. Uh, so yeah, uh, after this comparison and, and looking at um, a few references um, I did uh, a few experiments on interfaces on the screen um, I hope you managed to see the link uh, because I won't have time to go through everything in detail. Um, so I will jump to actually what I am doing now, uh, which is a sort of a live coding setting. Um, so I have pieces of code, or maybe I can show it what I actually have here. Um, and I use uh, JavaScript functions and I try to rethink them uh, and connect them to choreographic uh, principles. Um, so these are just some uh, first experiments. Um, and for me this has been um, really useful to rethink actually how I relate to interfaces, to code. Uh, it became also rather liberating because it's not only about writing code but also having an opinion upon it and it's a form of a speech, um, so a voice. And of course for me choreograph choreography means uh, a lot more than a set of instructions. Uh, it also is a way to think about counter moves or the tool as it is presented and think of uh, alternatives to it. Um, and there is also uh, another side of uh, in choreographic tradition, which is how people can reinterpret and reuse um, choreographies. So I believe that it can be also interesting to think about the circulation of code within um, or also while sharing either ideas. Um, so, yeah. I've been looking at esoteric programming, so having different layers of uh, meaning and, and func functionality um, applied to code. Um, yeah, I have a little link for some of my experiments, and I can do one very quick now, but it, yeah, it's going to be uh, very improvised, but uh, yeah. Um. So I usually start with a warning. I will be reading out loud in case you don't. Um, so theatrical actions are not necessary to the performance piece and should be avoided. This one is standard. Please switch off your mobile phones.
Um, so, we... So, um, choreography is the organization of tensions. And what I'm doing now is uh, I'm uh, changing the source code, so not everything is being visible now. And I'm also this is a question that I'm also thinking of: um, how can I connect uh, further the interface and, and also make my uh, code more explicit? I'm sorry, I will switch to <laughs> another window. One last experiment. Uh, so here it says that uh, there are as many spaces as there are as there are spatial experiences. Oh, wait one second. I will have to redo this one. Uh, yeah. One minute. Okay, well, uh, yeah, let's wrap up like this. Um, I just wanted to go back to my page so that uh, eventually... <laughs> uh, I think the, yeah, the code is going against the choreographer. Uh, So, yeah, please write me or uh, we can cross. Mm. Yes, thank you. <laughs>